what we're seeing, uh, you seem to be moving pretty, pretty decently. How are, how are you feeling? Oh, I feel good. I feel good every day. I woke up. How are you? Let me ask uh, this a different way, a more intelligent way. How have you been dealing with this uh, you know, the gap you've been at? Yeah, it's tough. I mean, watching your, your, your teammates out there, you know, uh, falling short some games, you feel like you want to be out there just to do something. Um, not being a part of practice, you know, the last two road trips I haven't been on. It's just, it's tough to just really be on the outside looking in, but I mean, it's it's for good purpose and um, we'll um, we'll get through this. How much of a breath of fresh air was it to do some of the stuff you should have? Oh, it was big time. It, was, it felt good, it felt good to get out there with the guys, you know, just going through reps with Vooch, uh, Deadman, Tobias, it just felt good and, you know, build off that. Well, they've talked about points in the paint. You know, defense and blocking shots, I mean, that's what you bring to this team. Is that the part where you see where you could really help out right now? Um, I mean, I guess so. I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to come in there and there'd be no points scored yeah. in the paint. Yeah. But, you know, I know I could do something, you know, to maybe, maybe pick us up, you know, get us over the edge, or just be a part of us winning. Um, we had some good games. We had some games where we let go. And you just want to be out there. Whatever the whatever the outcome is, you always want to be a part of it. Have you ever been away from basketball this long? Have you ever had an injury that take, took you away this long? No, nah, never. This is this is this is new to me, and it's tough because usually, you know, what I'm saying you might get a little bump, a little bruise, but you be back out there in two or three days. But I've been out for a while now, and this is this is this is a little bit different for me. But I mean, I guess it comes with the job. Does it change your perspective on anything? Like for example, when Vic missed his six. He said it made him. Love the game even more. Uh, you appreciate you appreciate the time you're out there because you never know. I mean, I stepped on somebody's foot. I mean, how 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 uncommon is that to be out that long for stepping on somebody's foot? People step at your foot at the mall. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's, it's, you appreciate your time out there. And you just I think when I get out there and I'm 100, percent I think I would really realize that any moment, any, every step counts. Does watching the games when you're out hurt? Do you see stuff that you don't necessarily see when you're in the game and like really engage in? Yeah, I mean, you look at it from a spectator's point of view. You know, I mean, you're, you're mostly connected, but you're not um, you're not physically a part of it. So you look at it as a as a fan would or, or a teammate, and um, you see little things. You see attitudes. You see you see um, body language. You see um, the game's really slow. Um, slows down for you when you're watching, and um, it's just a different point of view. Silly question. There's about a week from today, you guys are gonna play a game in, in short sleeve shirts. Does it affect shooting? Does it affect change anything? I'll let you know today after the, today's practice. It's our first day. Some of us wore them in summer league last year. You know, so some of us are used to them. Some of us wore them on other teams. But uh, I'll let you know after practice today. You guys wearing it too good? We're going to practice them today. Sounds good.